Well, hello internets, here we are. Uh, a little bit of a uh, vlog in the day in progress. But I guess it is what it is. And yeah, here we go. Well, it's been a few days since I ventured outside. It's been, uh, well, um, kind of one of them stretches. Been uh, trying to work through some things, trying to get help where I can. Uh, reaching out, getting shut down, getting confusing messages, um, getting told certain things that I don't know if I'm really ready to go down that road to uh, go down to, but hey, I guess uh, it'll be what it is, I guess, because it's kind of what it's going to be. It's kind of one of the messes that was started years ago that... Um, never really was dealt with properly, um, both on my part and the parts of others. And unfortunately when you're the last one to leave the party, you're quite often stuck, stuck with the, um, the, the bill, right? And stuck with the consequences and uh, dealing with the leftovers. And sometimes the leftovers happen to get a little bit too much for a person to bear um, alone. And when they reach out for help, people or organizations tend to, well, turn their backs on them, right? Well, today I need to go out, pick up a couple bags of groceries, and uh, try to get by for another few weeks. It just uh, seems to be the cycle, right? You uh, buy a few bags of groceries, run out of groceries, do without for a bit, um, buy some more groceries, do without, you know, and then... Uh, you sure uh, get to learn new things, get to learn um, different ways of getting by from uh, from what you used to do. And you know, at one time I was hungry, I'd go get something, um, whether it was fast food or grocery store or, or takeout or whatever. I would just go get it. You know, I was hungry, right? And now. Um, you go to the cupboard and you see ingredients so you make something or you go to the cupboard and uh, and it's empty and you got to make do with uh, crackers if you're lucky if you're lucky enough to have crackers and jam well then you're doing great right so today I'm gonna run out like I said pick up a couple bags of goodies um, I need to stop by the grocery store pick up a bag of uh, um, dog food, that's uh, one of the things that I know it's a little bit of an expense buying a $30 bag of uh, dog food every once in a while, but I don't know where I would be uh, without the dog, without my puppy, you know, and um, it was 2014 when uh, I got her off of Facebook and uh, she come from a puppy mail that they uh, pretty much used her and then when they were done with her they threw her away and I, I believe the people I got her from were uh, were the breeders, were the puppy mill people and she was in pretty rough shape when I got her, didn't know how to be a dog and uh, you know got her walking on the leash again, got her sort of uh, playing again and got her so she trusts uh, trust people again and and um, um, during the times when I've been in my darkest spots, uh, this dog's been there for me uh, more than any human ever did, ever did, or you know, probably ever will be. In fact, because um, you know, an animal, if they like you, they show it right away. A human, if they hate you, will wait 14 years before stabbing you in the back you know, or longer, you know, if you're if you're one of those ones. Sometimes it takes longer for people to show their true colors, right? You know, she is a rescue dog and people say, oh, they're a rescue dog, kind of like it's like a badge of honor, like you donated to the food bank or gave the Goodwill a used pair of your underwear. But really, she's, I didn't rescue her, you know, she rescued me and, uh, 
there's been a lot of times over the last couple of years that uh, it's been really, really dark. And uh, if it wasn't for the dog, um, someone to talk to, someone to take for a drive, someone to take on my big uh, adventure camping trip with, um, I don't know where I would be. I probably wouldn't be here right now. Um, making this vlog, sitting in this apartment, uh, seeing 2019, right? I sure didn't think I would see 20, 2018 anyways, but uh, 2018 was the starting of the turning point. 2019, I was hoping to be back on, on track, but it's going to be a little longer before I can get back to where uh, starting of what I once was. I probably never will be where I once was with the house and the truck and the RV and uh, all my tools and everything that I've lost, but uh, don't look at it as a loss, look at it as uh, experiences that you experienced. If you never took the chance, regardless of how it worked out, you would never have had the experiences that I had for those 12 years of owning that home. and. Uh, doing them projects, having them adventures, bringing home them trailers and lawnmowers and uh, uh, things like that. I never would have had that experience and sure I would have um, not have wasted thousands of dollars you know on maintenance on the house and stuff for the house and tools for the house but I would have just found something else to spend it on especially um, since I would have been renting an apartment anyway. You know, I maybe would have had a truck paid for and an RV paid for earlier in my life. You know, maybe I would have had a, um, a small rustic cabin at one of the, um, the lakes somewhere. Because there was a time where those cabins out there um, at a nearby lake were actually quite reasonable and then ever since people started to uh, live out there year round building these great big houses that are pretty much the size of, of houses in town you know a cabin out there now is you know half a million to or or so of you know dollars right and it's like why why is there a two hundred and fifty thousand to five hundred thousand dollar cabin is that really a house? You know, but it's part of life. It's things that happen to us, things we learn, and uh, to learn who we can count on in life and who shows us their true colors, who we can't count on, and uh, trying to make do with what we have and living with what what we do not have anymore, and getting by day to day, even when things look like they're dark, hopeless. Um, things have a way of turning around and showing a little glimmer of, uh, of hope. But I'm going to head out and do a few things. Try to stop by the grocery store, get the day going, and we'll catch you all later. Well, hello internets, here we are. We come to the end of a, another vlog. Well, it was an okay day, a little bit of a frustrating day, but uh, another day, I guess. I went out this morning, uh, a little bit later than normal time in the morning, to uh, pick up some groceries and such. However, things were a little bit busy, um, a little bit, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I think I've gotten used to being alone and gotten used to the confining four walls of uh, my apartment because uh, whenever I leave my apartment everything feels weird, everything feels out of place and uh, you know um, my anxiety kicks in and uh, I start getting I don't know how to explain it correctly So I went to a couple of the grocery stores, well of course uh, they were busy, a lot of vehicles and I tried going into one of them and uh, 
the noise, uh, the ambient noise and stuff was just too much for my senses. I'm not 100% sure exactly why or what or, or how, but um, I need to try to uh, overcome this. I, sh uh, I have been uh, really considering the um, online grocery uh, buying thing. It's a couple of the stores, they have the online grocery thing where you uh, essentially pick your groceries out, buy them online, and then uh, um, go pick them up. Now, they bring them out to you and um, I think uh, you load them in your vehicle already bagged and then all you have to do is carry them upstairs to your apartment which uh, I should be able to handle the trip in the truck to the grocery store without uh, without too much um, um, issues uh, hopefully I never used to be like this I never used to need to rely on anybody and uh, I'm finding lately that uh, I'm not able to do the things I used to do. I uh, struggled a bit during my holiday days, my vacation that I did, but I pushed myself through because I wanted to do what I did because, well, I figured that uh, I may or may not be able to ever do this again. So. Um, even though I did not complete my route, I was able to get done a fairly good chunk. Shot some footage, made some memories that'll be forever in my mind no matter what happens in the next few months. So I may have to rely on other people, um, other organizations if I can somehow find help to bring food to me or to take me out to um, uh, appointments and stuff. I don't know what the future is going to hold. It's weird when your world starts to oh well, continue to fall apart. <laughs> it started to fall apart years ago and uh, collapsed in uh, well 2017, 2018 there and uh, really collapsed there when I lost the house and the tools, my you know truck and RV and everything that I ever did work for and, and now that I'm in the apartment here with no way out, no escape and no uh, no life compared to what I used to have it's uh, collapsed even further in around me and uh, I've tried to reach out, I've tried to keep people in my life and they're far too busy with their own lives to um, to make time for somebody that once was a part of their life to uh, to help them out so and I've reached out to organizations and companies but of course like my whole life I've always seemed to not qualify or uh, I have too many assets or or I'm not the right uh, person for the the help they're looking for you know, not enough, uh, not enough glory, so they won't help somebody. So you end up struggling for years until you finally give up, and then once you got nothing, you you get the, you get a portion of the help that you were asking for years ago. And uh, you know, I went through all this hassle and and uh, trouble with my workplace injury, and i was promised that if i was not able to do my job they'd retrain me for another profession and when everything was said and done i was not able to do my job and nor did they send me for um retraining for another profession it's uh it was a bad uh, bad thing i would never recommend anybody going through um what i went through i think i if i ever uh did it again I would take my chances with the Alberta healthcare system because I think it would have been far better than the system that I went through but I'm gonna end it all here today was the day tomorrow's another one remember we do have a fan mail box for all your fan mail needs 
it does brighten my day when I get a letter uh, from a fan and uh, if you do write me and include a legible address and postal or zip code I will uh, send you a letter on back and as always thanks for watching Maxwell's vlogs comment subscribe and enjoy